Ahead of the 23rd February elections, the Center for Democracy in its assessment believes Nigerians are still unsure whether the elections will be held as per the new schedule. According to them, there are reports of missing and misplaced sensitive materials being distributed to states. The Center for Democracy Development in its pre-election analysis has again reiterated the elections could be marred by violence in some parts of Nigeria. The state's CDD lists include Zamfara, Akwaibom, Kogi and others. Our observers also report cases of intimidation as well as political violence in some states. For example, we received reports of politically related violence at Kogo and Pan, local government area of Plateau State, involving both APC and PDP supporters. Thogri is also a problem in Kogi State, particularly we note in Kogi Central and Kogi East divisions. In Akwaibom State, in Obot Akara local government area, the APC and the PDP local chapters have been engaged in a verbal war of blame. And you know, in this country, I mean, there is nothing, you cannot avoid the fact of ethnic block voting. And that seems to be much more problematic than religious block voting. Although there are insinuations also now that you may also have a incident of, of religious block voting in some parts of the country in terms of reaction to statements by political leaders and uh, <coughs> by government and so on and so forth. Observers feel as polls draw near, the political atmosphere in Nigeria is becoming tense with reported cases of political violence and intimidation. There are also speculations that the elections may not be held in some areas of the Northeast due to the insurgent attacks. CDD in its recommendations advised INEC to promptly address payment of ADEC staff and core members just as it wants the police to refrain from redeploying their personnel few days to the elections, while it called on the military to stay clear of the electoral process. The military have no basis to be a part of the elections. And we only recognize situations like in the Northeast, in the IDP camps, where they are already deployed. Certain stakeholders to you know, resort to violence. And one, in, one thing in particular which I think we should uh, be pressing to ask is first of all, if you uh, look at uh, the content of the adverts that politicians do to your studio or your newsroom, you know, examine it critically whether it is going to serve the interests of the country. Military has no business with the elections. They should continue to protect the territorial integrity of the nation. That's according to the Center for Democracy and Development. In Abuja, Oluwatobi Enito reporting for Roots TV, Nigeria.